Martinez started talking about the Nationals way in spring training. For me, it's teaching the Nationals way. The month in West Palm Beach gave Davey a unique chance to lay a strong foundation with Nat's top prospects. And he wasn't afraid to go back to the basics, like base running. Change the culture a little bit and get them to understand what we're really trying to do, and that's to win another championship. And in a year like 2024, where several players have and are expected to still make their major league debuts, that's especially important. Getting them to buy in at an early age. Four Nationals prospects have already debuted this season, including Trey Lipscomb, who just spent time in the major league lineup for the third time this season. He's going to go down and continue to work on, uh, on, on the swing a little bit. Um, but he's done fine. You just come in here and you feel welcome. The guys want to be around you. Um, and we just come here and have, have, a lot of, have a lot of fun out there on the field in the clubhouse. And like you said, we're just doing those dances there first. So we just, we're having fun. Luckily, the identity of this team had already been established, which made the transition up and down for Trey easier. That's something we've been like just focusing on since spring. Um, just getting guys out there and causing havoc. And one of the biggest parts of the Nationals' identity this season, Runner safe. creating havoc on the bases. Um, and that's what we were being taught in the spring. And then you got GP up here, Para, who, who teaches us very, very, very well. The Nationals were first in the majors in stolen bases for most of this season, led by center fielder Jacob Young for most of that time. I think spring training, we kind of had we kind of had an idea. Um, Davey preaches it to us, so it's something that we kind of, we take a lot of respect in. Young didn't start the year on the Major League roster either, but came up and made an immediate impact on the base pass. I mean, home runs are awesome, don't get me wrong. Um, watching the ball fly is, is amazing, but it not being the only way to score runs is awesome. Playing with him in Harrisburg and even in Wilmington, he, he's always been a threat on the bases. And he's gonna walk in there standing up. We know the Nationals are going to lead the league in long balls this year, but they found ways to win games their way. We knew it was a big part of the game, and we wanted to make sure it was something that teams kind of had to had to deal with, and I think that's what we're kind of putting the pressure on them, and it's working. It's been fun to watch these guys really really buy into the whole thing we're trying to do here, So, uh, but it's also good that we have athletes that can do it. Washington has stolen at least one base in 30 out of their 38 wins this season. It's a steal. And earlier this month, they reached the 100 stolen base mark in their 67th game of the season. The last team to do that in 67 or fewer games was the Rays in 2009. We have guys that can run, we have guys with speed, we have guys that understand how to run the bases now. But despite the impressive amount of stolen bases this season, the Nationals have been far from perfect in their attempts. Actually, they've been caught stealing more than any other team. Nice job by CJ. But even though opponents have caught on to their aggressive approach, they can use that to their advantage. I think it might help out the guys in the, in the batter box. They might be thinking about the runners. Um, they might leave a pitch middle. So finding more success on the bases might just mean staying true to the Nationals' way. Not in time. We kind of knew we were coming, and it's exciting to kind of put teams on notice and just try to do what we do and surprise, surprise people. For Mass and All Access, Amy Jennings.